Hi guys, today we are going to review the Sono 5V Wi-Fi Relay module. I purchased it from iden.cc which is one of the official websites of Sonoff. I'll put the link in the descriptions. When I was purchasing it, it cost around 3.99 US dollars. This is a pretty handy module which can be used for cool Wi-Fi projects in your house for that price point. Let's have a closer look of this module. Here we have some details mentioned in this sticker. Model number of this module is RE5V1C and working voltage is 5V volt DC. We have got the QR code to download the EVE Link mobile application which we use to configure and control this module. You can scan this QR code and get the application from the link generated. Or you can go to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store to download the application. Here we have the rear side of this module. As you can see there are a few components and we'll have a closer look later. Then here we got the front view of the relay module and we can see there is a relay and a jumper to connect the input power. Let's have a closer look of these components in the rear side of the module. Here we have the ESP8285 Wi-Fi enabled microchip developed by Expressive Systems in China. This acts as the brain of your module and it connects your module to network via Wi-Fi. And here we got the 3.3 voltage regulator to regulate input 5 volts. This is the inbuilt push button and it have few functions which will be discussed later. Here we got the indicator of this module with red and green color indicator lights. When you're connecting your electric appliance to this module, you can connect one end to this place and other end to this place, like in the attached picture. This relay is acting as the switch of this module. As you see, it is a 5V DC relay which can handle up to 10 amperes. Here I soldered two pin headers for input power. In the rear side, it has mentioned we are to connect 5V and ground. Now let's see how to connect your module to EV Link application. First, open the application. This will take a little bit time to load. In the login page, there are a few credentials to fill. First line is your country. You can select your country from drop down menu. If you have a EV Link account, you can use your email and password in next two rows. Then click login. If you don't have a EV Link account, just click Create New Account. Then it will open a window to create a new account. Select your country and click Next. Then enter your email. By clicking Verification Code, you will get a 4 digit number to your email. Use it in next few steps to create a new account. Now let's see how to power up your module. From here, I get 5V DC. I'll connect two jumpers to 5V DC and ground. Then I will connect it to module pin headers like this. Then I will power on the device. As you can see, the indicator will blink in green if you are ready to connect to Wi-Fi.
By clicking this push button, you can on and off the relay manually. Indicator will become red when relay is on. Here I have used my EV Leak account for login. Now let's see how we can add our module to this EV Leak application. Click the add button in the home page or plus mark to add your Wi-Fi module. Then click quick pairing. After that select add one device. In the next page you will have to give your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Note that only 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi devices are currently working for these modules. After giving your SSID and password, click next. Wait till device is being connected. If your device didn't get connected, push the button on the module for few seconds. It will put your module to pair in mode. Then your application should connect with the module. This delay time is depend on the quality of the Wi-Fi connection. It is recommended to keep your mobile phone and Wi-Fi module near to the Wi-Fi device as much as possible. Now you connected your Wi-Fi module to the application successfully. You can rename your module with any name you like. Let's make it as Relay1. Then it will appear on the home page of the application. From here, you can switch on and off your module remotely. Real-time status of the module is also shown. In device settings, you have many options to play with. You can command your module from Alexa, Google Home and SmartThings voice assistants. You can also upgrade the firmware of the module if required. To remove the module from app, you can use delete device option in settings. You also have functions like schedule, timer and loop timer to configure with your Wi-Fi module. Thank you guys, like, comment and subscribe for more videos.